Well, we're joined with, by uh, Notts County goalkeeper Fabian Spies, who's joined us today on loan. Fabian, welcome to Bristol Rovers. It must have been a, a whirlwind 24 hours for you. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, it's been crazy, to be honest. Um, find, found out last night um, that I had to drive down here this morning and sign all the paperwork. So I was up at six o'clock. Took me about three hours to get here, but I'm glad it's all sorted now and I'm really looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, I mean, we're speaking in the, the team's hotel ahead of tomorrow's game at Welling, so you, you didn't even have time for a training session this morning, did you? Yeah, that's it. I mean, I got there at, this morning at about nine o'clock, had to sign all the paperwork. And by the time I got to a training round, all the players had started training, so I just I just had a little glance, met all the lads, they're all top lads, and um, it's got to be difficult to just settle in for tomorrow's game, but... You know, it's, like I said, the lads are top, top lads and I'm sure we'll be all right. I, I guess the biggest thing for a goalkeeper is communication. You have to get used to a lot of different names. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I've, I've, I've got to try and learn the lads' names as quick as I can. If not, I'll just have to shout their numbers out on the back of the shirt. But I, th I think we'll be all right because, like I said, like the top lads and um, we'll, we'll be all right. Yeah. yeah, you had a coach journey to get to know them. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. I mean, banter's flying already, really. I don't, been criticising my my jumper, but it's all it's all good banter. So, <laughs> tell us a little bit about your background. You're born in Germany, but you, you haven't really spent too much time in that country, have you? Yeah, I mean, I, I was born in Germany. Um, moved to Dubai for a few years because of my parents. Um, then um, went to Spain for about four or five years. I was playing football down there in Malaga. Um, then moved back to Dubai again because of parents' job and um, playing out there a bit. Like men's football when I was still about 14, so was, that was quite good. Um, and then um, Mick Leonard, who's got the job at um, as the academy director at Notts County at the time, he picked me up in Dubai and brought me to Notts County. And you've gone through the, the system there, you, you, did, you did a scholarship there? Yeah, I did my scholarship, yeah, I'm on my third year pro now, so yeah, I've been there about five years now at the club. Uh, and as a scholar, you went out on loan to a couple of clubs, didn't you? Yeah, I went down to uh, Toulouse and to Corby Town, which was a good experience. Um, as I, I was still in the youth team at the time, so great to get men's football in so early, and it, it was a great experience, and it helped me to settle in when I played for the first team in Notts County. You made your debut, I think, went through injury. Uh, was it Stuart Nelson who... Um, was... No, uh, it, was quite, it was quite funny. Um, it was the last game of the season, and um, there's, there'd been a bit of rumours going on about me, about the move and stuff like that, and... Um, the manager just chucked me in just to see how I would do. And in the last game, when we was, was, was four nil up, so um, he, he chucked me in about the last twenty minutes to go. So that's when I made my debut. And then um, the, the following year, um, Bart got injured, and um, I was chucked in against Leighton Orient. Um, got man of the match there, just to show you that. <laughs> and um, yeah, then I made my full debut against Portsmouth at Fratton Park, which was good as well. And this and um, this season you've played a couple of games in a JPT. Uh, yep. Gather you um, performed heroics against Wolves in the penalty shootout. Was that right? Yeah, that uh, that was last year actually. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. I mean, to be fair, we dominated the game and it shouldn't even have gone to penalties. Um, so we deserved we deserved to go through. But they hit two over the bar and only had to save one. So. <laughs> but you, you've had to bide your time. But you you, you tell me you've got a good uh, goalkeeping. Uh, example to follow at Notts County, Roy Carroll is, is a top-notch keeper, isn't he? He's been yeah. played at the top level. Yeah, I mean, um, Bart, Bart's been there last season. Who um, He's gone to Ipswich now and he's playing full-time there. He's starting now, which I'm glad for him. And um, now this year, Roy Carroll's come in, yeah, which he's, I mean, he's, he's a top guy, to be fair. He's, he's got the experience. He's playing Champions League last season and he's still playing for um, Northern Ireland this year internationally, so... Can't have anyone better to learn from, really. Um, is he is he good with younger players? Is he, is he does he pass on his knowledge? Anyway? Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah, I mean, in training, he's always giving you little tips, and I mean, he's he's quite old now. To be fair, um, he criticises himself quite a bit. Oh, I should have done that and this, but uh, he, he gives good advice. To be fair, and, and even Kevin Pilkington, the goalkeeper coach, are both both top people. And you come to Bristol Rovers in the conference, and obviously straight into the squad for tomorrow's game at Welling. Have you any idea what to expect, really? From a conference game? Well, um, conference um, is a pretty physical league, I think, uh, as far as I know, um, from my time in the conference north and stuff. So, I mean, I don't know what to expect too much, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be a tough game tomorrow and I'm sure all the lads will be up for it. 
And your loan takes you up until the 1st of January. I think that was as much as the, the conference would allow because it's an emergency loan. So, but plenty of games in that period. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. That's what I've come for to play games and to do well for the club as well. I need to try and get my um, reputation up as well. Start playing some games, get my confidence back. So, I mean, it's it's a great club to come to, Bristol Rovers, and I'm really looking forward to it. You've had a lot of congratulatory messages on the way up. I noticed, haven't you? I saw you you put on Twitter. Thank you for all the messages. Are you surprised by that? Um, no, I'm not to be honest because I knew uh, Bristol Rovers is a massive club and they've got great fans behind them and. Very welcoming club as well, so uh, I kind of expected it. But everyone who did send me the messages, thank you very much, and hopefully um, we'll win tomorrow and keep a very good run going and win as many games as we can. I hope so. Have you played too many? I mean, many games this season. Not scan you got the reserve side or um, development squad. No, t- to be fair, um, I haven't actually this season. No, um, uh, we play the odd game here and then, but it, we don't really have it on the, the settled under twenty one side. So. It's been quite difficult in that respect, but um, I mean, yeah, the games, I'll, I'll hopefully I'll learn quickly and get settled in really quick.